Hi guys, Mike Martin here. So today I'm going to go through how to internal link your websites to get the most impact in the search engines. Now I've been asked this quite a lot um, and I don't think I've ever really gone through it in depth before. So it's not going to be a really long video, but I'm going to go into how I link my sites and the best way to do it. So basically the first thing I should say to you is that your internal links should pass the power to the pages that make the money. Um, so when ranking a website, we don't want to rank the website. We want to rank the pages that make the money. Okay, so it, it doesn't matter if it's the home page, if it's a blog page, uh, what it is on, on, on the page. If it makes money, rank it, okay? There's no point being at the top of Google for something that doesn't make any money. Um, so we basically, that's the pages we want to push it to. Now, I like to create, as a lot of people know, I like to create triangles that pass the power to the tip of the triangle. Um, and it passes it to the tip of the triangle. And the tip of the triangle pages are the ones that make the money. And, I've got, and that's because I set them out that way. And I will go through that shortly. So you understand that a little bit more. Now, basically looking at this picture, okay, the guy on the right makes the money. Okay, so we pass him all the power and we get paid. It's like your sales team for your business. If you've got a sales team for your business, send all the money, <laughs> throw all your money at the sales guy and the sales guy makes more money, okay? So the sales team, as a lot of people know, work in normal, but normal industries and normal companies will know the sales team get all the perks, they get the best cars, the nicest laptops, they work the least hours, and that's because they generate the income, okay? It's the exact same with websites and internal linking. Pass the power to the pages that make the money. Simple as that, okay? If you do it that way, you can't really fail. So let's take a look at the perfect linking structure for Magic Page Plugin websites. All right, guys, so most of our followers couple of thousand, two or 3,000 people use Magic Page Plugin websites. So I'm going to focus on them. But if you use this for any type of website and you follow this structure and this strategy, it will make sense. Okay, so Magic Page Plugin. First thing you start with is the homepage. Okay, so the homepage should target keyword location. So let's say you choose the largest major city. Let's say London. We choose the largest major city in the UK to target. Or you can do this in the States. Totally up to you, Miami, Florida, or wherever it is you're going after. There's only one of them, Okay. It should be the largest major city and it links to the largest magic pages. Anybody who doesn't know what magic pages, you'll understand a little bit more as we get further on. So it, so if you've got 100 uh, magic page locations set into your radius, but three of them are almost as big as the home page, then the home page will only link to those three and nothing else. Okay, right. Then you've got your service pages. So your service pages, you're going to have five to 10 service pages, service pages. They're going to target service location. So let's say we were doing the plumbing industry. It might be boiler repair location. Whereas your main, your main target page, your home page would, would target plumber London. This would target boiler repair London, boiler, boiler installation London, um, and other such terms that come in with plumbing. It, it covers your main services. So, so your, your main services that a business is targeting and they link up to the home page, okay? And I'll draw some arrows shortly so you'll understand this a little bit more. Then you've got your magic pages, okay? Now your magic pages target keyword location and the target service location. And I'll explain how the, how the, how the content works shortly so you'll understand that a little bit better. There's gonna be up to 100 magic pages per website. Uh, they cover a target radius. So what, what I mean by that is, if you've got your central location of London, but you're willing to work in every area within a five or 10 mile radius of wherever it is you're based in London, then you set a radius and the magic page plugin will automatically go off and build all the pages for all the locations you cover. And they link up to the service pages. Okay, so what I mean by this is look, right? Each of these magic pages wouldn't just link to the two service pages, they'll actually link to all the service pages. So this one here, We'll link to this service page and this service page. This one here will link to this service page and this service page. So it's five or 10. Each one will link to each and it passes the link juice up the pyramid. Okay. Your service pages, which would be like your boiler installation, your boiler repair, your underfloor heating, whatever it was, will point up to your magic page. So your magic page is the home page. That's your biggest major city. That's your number one money keyword. Plumber London is going to generate more money than Boiler Repairs London. It's going to generate more money than Boiler Installations London. And these are going to generate less money than the service pages because these are in much smaller locations other than maybe the top three to five large cities, which this one's going to link to. So what I mean by that is it's going to link to the largest magic pages. Now, let's say we're in um, Manchester City Centre, but we also want to cover 
Oldham, Rochdale and Bury, for example. Um, and all the areas in that radius uh, that we're looking at. Um, Oldham, Rochdale and Bury would likely be linked to from the home page. OK, and then the magic pages will all link to one another. So, so these are your largest cities down here. So this is going to be so the home page is, is only going to have three to five links on it maximum. Those three to five links are going to go to the largest um, major cities um, that are just slightly smaller than the central location. And then they're all going to link to one another. So the magic page all link to one another via the city short code, which obviously automatically puts the 10, um, the 10 closest locations to any page that it's currently on. So it changes dynamically on a per magic page basis. So as you can see the way this works, this is only really linking out to three to five. It's going to be linking out to the major cities. So this is the only page we're going to need to index. What's going to happen, it's going to follow the links to the link to the largest magic pages, which is going to come down here. The largest magic pages are going to be incorporated into these. So they all link to one another via the city short code. Every single magic page links to every single um, service page. So it passes the power up. This passes the power up to the major city and the major city passes the power back down to the magic pages via the largest cities. So if you look, it's a big, nice, big circle. You index the home page. That link indexes and passes it through to the biggest magic pages. The magic pages are all interlinked with one another. So they all get each other indexed and they pass all the power from all the magic pages up to here. So it doesn't matter where you point a link on your website from any out external sources because of the way the linking structure is designed. The if you can see my um, thing, it goes like this around the website, but it always passes the majority of the link juice up to the main page up to the big boy right up the top okay and we're trying not to link out to the services pages we're trying not to link out to any any additional magic pages that we don't have to we want the book to stop here it needs to link out to something so you can get this link so the reason we want to do this is we're going to target the second third fourth biggest major cities in our radius and the reason we're doing that is because they're going to be our second third and fourth most profitable locations even more profitable than the service pages which are designed to cover service location for the major city so plumber london will be more profitable than plumber chelsea okay but plumber chelsea will likely be more profitable than boiler installation um london or than boiler repair london because a lot more people type in plumber chelsea or plumber um i can't think of any more areas in london so it's not going to work and we pass the link juice keeps flowing around the site like that and what it does is it means that no matter where any links are coming into this site from anywhere else they're all designed to boost the top boy the big boy at the top that's going to generate the most money and obviously all the additional little locations are designed to push the power up to the top but also this is bringing it back down and sharing it between the largest locations which is going to rank everything now what's really important as well is how we write the content. So how to write content for these pages. So we'll start with the home page, okay? So the home page, you can have a H1 that's going to be keyword location, because as I said earlier, your main target is keyword location, right? Your first 500 words are going to target keyword location. So they're going to be all about keyword location, plumber in London, plumbers do this in London, plumbers do that in London, plumbers provide this, that, and the other in, in London. But then you're going to have your H2, your services locations, okay? And you're going to do this for every single service. So you might have five or 10 of these listed on the home page all h2s and then each every, every single one of them you're gonna have 200 words of content per service okay and the home page links to three to five largest magic page cities that is it okay it doesn't link out to anything else then you've got your service pages okay so your service pages is going to be your h1 is going to be your service location so boiler repair london boiler installation london underfloor heating london okay your first 500 words are going to target the service location Right, then you're going to create H2s for the micro services. There's going to be micro services. I don't know what they are inside of, say, boiler installation or boiler repair. There's going to be micro services that come as a part of it, and whether they sign up for a, a monthly subscription or whatever it is that they do. I don't know what, what the actual thing is for plumbing because I've not checked it out. You're going to do 200 words of content per micro service location. Uh, so, sorry, per micro service underneath this. So you get your H1 for your service location. You're going to have your first 500 targeted, then you're going to have micro services that fit inside of the bigger service. So underfloor heating might have various micro services that people may search is if I'm getting underfloor heating, how do I do this? Or what do I do here? Or what type of who takes care of this? This wants to be in there because that's going to generate a lot of traffic. And then service pages linked to the home page inside the content. 
So the service pages link up, okay, to the home page inside the content. Then we're going to look at the magic page. So the magic page has got H1 keyword location, just like the home page. First 500 uh, words target keyword location, just like the home page. Uh, H2 is service, okay, all your H2s is going to be service location for all the services on the magic page. There's going to be 200 words of content per service, okay, it should say per service, not services. 200 words of content per service. Magic page plugin links to each uh, other with the city short code. That's going to pull in the 10 or 5 or however many you set it closest locations to the page that are currently on. And the magic page is linked to every service page in the content. So every single service page inside the content is going to link. The magic page is going to link to the service page inside the content. All right. Under the H2. So every single one of your magic pages is going to have a H2 with like boiler installation whatever the location is, Chelsea, and under there, it'll be talking about boiler installation. And then that 200 words of content will link back through to the main service location pages. Okay. And then under the H2 for all the different services, we'll go to the correct service location in a keyword inside of the actual content underneath, right? I'm going to quickly go back through the other bit. I'll say subscribe to my channel because that was the last slide, but I'm going to quickly jump back over here so we can see this, the linking structure again, because the linking structure, if you get this into your, into your mind so you can understand exactly how it works, okay, it basically, you've got magic pages down the bottom to 100 of these. Every single magic page links to one another, obviously 5 to 10, closest location, and they link to each individual service page. So magic page 1 links to all the service pages inside of a H2, all right? So there's a H2 with content underneath it. In that content, links back to that service page, okay? the h200 boiler installation then that'll put a link back to the um boiler installation page we add that on all of them all of the service pages is all five or ten service pages point to the magic page plugin and then the magic page plugin only links out to i'd say three to five of the largest cities okay underneath itself so if this is london whatever the next three largest cities are this is going to link out to them and they're obviously going to be part of the city short code and they're going to help by linking into everything else and it's just going to pass a link juice around the site but the key element is passing everything up to the tip which is the most powerful page which is the money making page all these are probably going to make you more money between them than the home page however the home page is, is your number one it's your target location it's going to get you to the top if you're renting sites out it's going to make it easier to rent them out because it's ranking the highest and if you're selling leads direct to local businesses this is going to be the most profitable page on your website so because of that you're going to send the link juice to it because that's going to be the one that's making the money. That's like your superstar salesman in a business that's, that's selling leads for you or doing whatever it is he's doing. So you want to be making sure that you pass the power, you pass the juice, you spend the money, you spend the time on the top page that's going to generate the most links and everything else is designed to support it and generate an income as well. Anyone who's followed my PBN training will know that I create my PBNs almost identically to this. Okay. With regards to the content, we quickly went through it. H1, keyword location, 500 words. H2, service location, 200 words of content per service. And then the homepage links to three to five largest major cities. Service pages, you've got your H1, 500 um, words targeted service location. H2 is for the micro service location. Okay, 200 words of content. You're going to service pages linked to the homepage inside the content. Okay, magic page plugin. H1 is keyword location, 500 words of content. H2 is service location for all services. 200 words of content per service. So that's underneath he, each of the H2s. Okay. Then you're going to have magic page linked to each, uh, each other with the city short code. And you're going to have the magic page linked to every service page in the content. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Um, and I will do some more training shortly. Hope you loved it. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.